Hello and welcome back. So let's add some editing and deleting features. And this won't be difficult because editing is simply add, only that we have the information already there. That's about it. So let me cancel this for now and let's see if we can add the editing. Now, if we click on the edit button, we get this problem. That class was not found, so it shouldn't be like that. We should have a similar, I think there's something missing here. Instead of this number two, we should have the class ID. This one looks like it's the row ID that is being given. So let's get back here where we view. That's class tab tests dot ink. And I'm trying to look at the edit and delete buttons. So here, instead of the ID, we should change this to class ID, class underscore ID. So let's refresh this again and click edit. Okay, same problem. I think the issue is, wait a minute, wait a minute, edit. Oh. Okay, so the issue here is um, the test edit here. Um, that's the function through which, uh, but why is it saying that class was not found? Anyway, uh, let me move, remove this just to see if there are no problems. Okay, so there are no problems. <clears throat> So the issue is having to do with the single class thing here. We have to read the tests from there using this right here. So I'm just going to copy this code because this is what brings us the tests from this particular class. So I'm going to copy all that, but then I need to do the same way we have lecturer add, student add, uh, let's have, oh, we already have tests add. Let's use the same mechanism to use to create the test edit. So just copy the duplicate this function here, the test add. So wait, 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 wait. Okay, there we go. Duplicate, yes. We are officially duplicated. Actually, I should have moved this over there like so. So, of course, let's change this to edit like this. And we shouldn't worry about the posting for now. Let's just make sure that things are editable. So here I will change this to edit like this. And that's the page tab name we're going to give it and the rest should remain as it is. So let's give it a test run. I'll click edit. So it's saying unexpected end of file. Well, usually what causes the unexpected end of file is a missing closing tag or closing brace like this. So I must have made a mistake somewhere. Yeah, obviously right here because uh, it seems yeah i moved out of the class itself so not cool man not cool so let me move this inward a little bit where does it end it ends there and this should be the closing class tag so all i need to do is to delete this here because i've added one below i think i accidentally uh, made a copy of it Let's see if it will approve this time. Okay, so apparently that was approved. Uh -huh. Wait, what's going on here? Oh, okay, so it is working. Cool. Okay, pretty nice. Okay, so now that we are at this point, this is test edit. Let's come down here to... Um, Actually, we didn't even need to read from the classes as I had mentioned there. So this is all good. All we need is, um, yeah, this is correct here. Mm. 
The thing is, we shouldn't redirect after editing. We should click the back button or something like that. So I'll change the tab to, uh, instead of tests, it should be tests, test edit. I don't know if that even helps. No, if we had to come back here, let me copy that and still add it here anyway. If we had to come back, instead of having just the ID here, we have to have test edit here. So it goes through this same function again. Okay, so I think that's cool. And then the other thing is we need to update. So here I will say update like so. And we don't need to update the date. Mm, we may need to update whether it's disabled or not. So I'll leave this one. The class ID doesn't need to change. So I'll remove that. And uh, what else? Hmm. So the test name, the test description, of course, and the disabled. So let me copy this and put it here as well and put disabled disabled yes okay whatever that value will be cool and then we update so let's just make sure that once we update in the models uh it's not going to cause problems so let's go to tests model and let's see if there are any functions before update and they do not exist so this is cool. It seems things will work here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But we shall only know once we try them. Now, the thing we need here is an interface for the edit part. So let's steal from the add interface. So I'm going to go to the tests. Where is tests here? Uh, class tab tests add.ink so we will copy everything from the add version here right click in the views new file paste now keep in mind that uh, these files are quite a number in here it may get confusing so it would be a good idea to put them in folders if you want and then update the links to those files so that the classes uh, views are in one folder the test views are in one folder etc just in case you get uh, discombobulated by all this information, you have a way to organize them. So here we want to, this is tab test add ink. We just want to change the add to edit. So here edit, save. Good. So here instead of add it to be here edit. Yeah, idiot. Edit a test. Yes. Hmm. Let's see here. What else do we have? Mm -hmm. Okay, so far things is looking good. Test area. The input. This one is create. Instead of create, we'll say save. And what else do we need here? Console or back. Let's use back instead of console. And... Um, what else? A description for these tests. Uh, okay, that's a placeholder. So we need a um, disabled here. So I'm going to I'm going to try and add an input here. Now this input is of type radio, and the name is disabled. Okay, so let's say active deactivate active or what else mm, disabled maybe something like this so I need to add values for these guys so it's either one or zero so disabled one active zero like this okay cool let's add a break tag over here shall we and let's add a uh, pipe here to separate those two 
and uh, yeah so we need to tell it to include this once we click on the ear edit and let's go to tab tests include hmm what's happening here uh, we, we need to go to the classes view dot ink I think okay now I'm getting lost classes view no classes include the classes include just has a table uh, wait a minute where does it select the tabs from I am lost completely now okay let me go back to the class itself lecturers okay then students then tests yeah where we are selecting those is where I want to go so where is that uh, single class I guess yes single class view yes there we go okay so cool I am here this is the test add let's uh, duplicate one more of these and put test edit now don't forget to add the break like I did last time okay so this file is single dash class dot view dot php so this one will be test edit like so and test edit over here all right so back and let's click edit there we go so edited test text title that and then we have these active or disabled or enabled one of these two uh, we need more space here let's come back to this uh, we need more space so I'll put in another break tag but we need less space between these other two so maybe let's try and remove that and then there was an extra uh, this one here I'll remove that as well let's refresh okay something like this so active disabled mm -hmm. uh, yeah this one will be status save back edit yes now we need to be able to have information here the previous information so uh, let's do that now hmm. What I want is to have a row, so I'll copy this here and uh, right above the form, like here, I will add that if statement, paste it, like so. But this if statement will be checking for if is set. Uh, row, there we go. Yeah and uh, what else hmm. if it said raw let's remove this and let's put an and here and is object i think because this one is going to be an object or will it yes it will so if that's true then let's put the end if over here but we'll need an else statement here just in case the data was not found we can tell the user that uh, we couldn't find what you're trying to edit so we'll say uh, sorry that class no that test sorry was not found like so so let's see that in action boom uh, okay something wrong so it's telling me that uh, row oh so this is um, hmm. I think this row is coming from the class itself so we shouldn't use that as a thing so let's change this to test row like so 
that way we are sure of what we are looking for and let's test that refresh okay sorry that test was not found but even at that point we still need the back button so what i will do is copy the back button and paste it here that way even when we are disappointed we are able to go back where we came from so refresh uh, not the ideal position let's try again okay the reason i think is because as usual this div has some issues so let's move this higher up there so we can get rid of the div altogether so move this div inward like so so that this is entirely outward so i'll do this we probably don't need all of those Ugh. okay hmm this guy is trying to play let's add a div so we can center everything okay like so yeah and then let's add some classes like a text sender okay cool and we are better off with another break tag here i think refresh okay but uh, things are not moving to the center so let's use what we had here justify content center since this is a flex box and uh, apparently that doesn't work either hmm very interesting indeed maybe it would work if i had another div inside this one which will be the one that is centered maybe something less of a div something like a span let's see wow none of this seems to work if i add a class and say mx auto okay uh, i'm not an expert on bootstrap so keep that in mind please refresh Ooh. okay anyway i will figure it out and give you the rundown in the next tutorial otherwise this has miserably failed now in the next video let's look at actually submitting this information and then we can do the delete i'll see you then